I guess I've never cared very much for other people's expectations of what my career should look like. I grew up getting tattoos. I grew up doing really dumb things on my bicycle. So I had that kind of punk rock anti-establishment willingness to carve out my own path. So my career plan was to go to law school and then stuff happens and then I'd save the world. And then everyone told me that I should become a judge's clerk. One of the judges I worked for advised me that I really should be thinking about going into commercial litigation. And I made the call that I'd go for commercial litigation. But nine months into my first year, I went to the UN climate talks in Durban, which was an incredibly eye-opening experience. I saw the breakdown and the hope of international law. And the day I came back, I had a discussion with a senior lawyer who said, are these climate change negotiations? Are both sides of the debate represented or just people who believe in it? And I just looked and I explained that these are diplomatic negotiations on how to solve a problem that every country in the world at that point had agreed was a problem. And that was the moment that I decided I was gonna quit commercial law. It took me another 18 months to actually quit, but that was the moment when I decided to quit. I've been moving into more and more into the campaign space. I work now campaigning to increase climate action in New Zealand. I work now to protect New Zealand's critically endangered Maui dolphin and New Zealand sea lions. I work to call for marine protected areas to be established according to the interests and the wishes of mana whenua. I want to leave the world a better place for people than I found it. My jobs have been going towards ecological issues via human rights because I see these as intimately connected. So I want to win campaigns and I want to bring social, political, economic change to help people by helping to protect the environmental systems that sustain us.